Dear Niantic, I want to preface this message by saying that I am a massive fan of Pokemon and have been for nearly 20 years. And although it's been a fraction of the time, I'm also a huge fan of the game that you've created in Pokemon Go. I think it's incredibly fun, and over the past three weeks, I've gained numerous new friendships and explored new areas both inside and outside of my city that I never would have been to before. And I think I can speak on behalf of a lot of your players that we really appreciate you pushing the boundaries of gaming to that outside world and allowing us to have new experiences and meet new people and have fun as a community. That being said, there is a major, major problem. You've built a game around going out and interacting with that community, yet it doesn't appear that you respect your own community of players whatsoever. You don't interact with us, you don't respond to us, you don't talk to us at all. The manner in which you've handled your relationship with your 80 plus million fans and players isn't just wrong, it's flat out inexcusable for a game developer in this day and age. Yesterday, there was a huge Pokemon Go update with game-altering changes. Things like the scan radius being reduced from 100 meters to 70 meters, making it harder to find Pokemon. Things like the damage values for over 75 attacks being changed, some of which were plus or minus 50%. All kinds of crazy changes like this. And how do I know this stuff? Not from you guys, not because you guys are updating your player base, but from the good people over on the Pokemon Go and the Self Road subreddit. So if I didn't follow this stuff that closely, I would have no clue what was going on, as is the case for a majority of your user base that you've been leaving in the dark. You have absolutely no involvement with your own community apart from asking Soldier Boy which Pokemon he's caught so far. And by the way, pro tip, mentioning somebody twice in a tweet doesn't do anything. Furthermore, with yesterday's update, we had some good features that were working appropriately that were removed, and I'm not sure why. Now on iOS, there's no longer a battery saver option. Why would you take that out? Also, the XP bonuses for great and excellent throws were removed. Why? This game already isn't all that feature rich. I mean, apart from the collecting Pokemon process, which is exciting, that's what a lot of people want to do in, in trying to get stronger Pokemon as you level up. Apart from that, there's really not much else to do. Gym battles aren't that exciting. The rewards you get for holding gyms is a joke. And overall, I think the entire system is kind of messed up. As long as somebody's six Pokemon can beat one Pokemon at a time and then they can back out and reheal up, they can take that gym, which I think is a little bit too easy. And honestly, all this game is turning into is a numbers grind, is collecting slightly more powerful Pokemon, but for what reason? There's nothing else to do there. You've said that there is less than 10% of your total planned content currently in the game, which means there's 90% to go, which is exciting. We're all hoping for trading, for trainer versus trainer battling, maybe for breeding, that sort of thing. But why are we removing features right now why are you removing gameplay from the game trying for great and excellent throws was exciting it was fun it added a layer of skill to the game and now they're gone before we know it we're gonna have nothing more than a glorified version of paper toss moving on last but not least let's talk about the most important issue at hand tracking the in-game nearby Pokemon tracker broke just after the first week of launch and has not been fixed since. In response, sites like PokeVision have popped up to give players an alternative and today you put a stop to those sites. Why would you do this when your own in-app tracker doesn't work? Now I understand that this may not have been your original vision for this game. You didn't want to give people exact Pokemon locations, you wanted them to explore and find their own. Whatever, it's your game, you do have the final call in the decision making. But why would you take something away that made the game so much more fun for your community? People preferred this style of play. PokeVision had nearly 30 million users and that's almost half of your player base. While it may not have been your original vision for how people play, why not adopt to something that your fans so obviously enjoy? You should be adopting the feature and hiring these guys, not banning them and putting their site to rest. And regardless of the PokeVision argument, your own in-app tracker doesn't work. 
you took away our only way of tracking down Pokemon. If you don't want us to use that way, then at least give us the steps back so that we know we're headed in the right direction. You don't invent Marco Polo, get 80 million players to join, and then remove the Polo part and expect people to keep playing. I'm not gonna go outside and wander around aimlessly without any sort of inclination that I'm going in the right direction. Why in the hell would anyone want to play a Pokemon tracking and capturing game when you can't track the damn Pokemon? That just, it, it doesn't make any sense. So, uh, there's... All I'm saying is please interact with your community and make your players and fans feel valued. We love your game and want to continue loving your game, but masses of people are starting to lose interest due to these issues and your lack of interest. You've broken every record in the books when it comes to mobile games and gaming in general. You've created a social phenomenon that will be remembered and studied for decades. In less than a week, you roast the most downloaded game of all time, but you're on track to killing it just as fast. Your users peaked the day before your tracking bug started and have been on a decline ever since. Do something about it. Whew. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little rant. Uh, it was just, uh, it was something I had to get off my chest, man, and it's it's spawning from, from a good place, I think. It's spawning from passion. Like, I really, really love Pokemon Go. I can't believe how much I've fallen in love with this game. I don't think I've fallen in love with the game this much in my history of gaming. Like, it's just, it's such a different game and I'm having so much fun with it and enjoy sharing it with you guys and it just, it frustrates me the direction that the game's currently heading because I enjoy it so much and I want to continue to enjoy it and I just, I know myself and a lot of other people are kind of frustrated with it. So I wanted to make a video that hopefully sparks up a conversation and if this has even a very, very small, minor effect, for the positive for this game, then uh, it did what I wanted it to do. Now, let's talk about what you guys can do to uh, to make a difference with this and hopefully change the direction that uh, Pokemon Go is currently heading in. So, number one is I'm gonna put together a click to tweet. I would really like Niantic to see this video. Like, I, I have a hard time believing that they aren't aware of what the community is saying because, I mean, the internet, it can be very, very loud sometimes. So I, I find it hard to believe that they're just completely not in touch at all. But if they are, I wanna get this video to them so they can see kind of how everybody thinks. So if you guys wanna do that, click to tweet down there. That's gonna be really cool. Um, also, you can leave a review in the App Store in like the iTunes App Store or the Google App Store or whatever else and, and leave your honest feedback. I'm not telling you guys to give them you know, one star or two stars or anything like that, but leave honest feedback in there with an honest rating and that might potentially get some attention. And uh, then also, if you've made any in-app purchases, and you truly feel like you've been wronged, especially by this most recent update, which if you guys haven't played yet today, it's, it's gotten quite a bit worse. You can request a refund from iTunes or from the Google Play Store and stuff like that because I mean, honestly, the product can't be used as it was advertised due to the game functionality and, and all the problems of the recent update. So if you say something like that to them, then you should have some success in getting your refund. And uh, you know, hopefully money will speak a slightly different language to Niantic. It seems like they want to ignore plain English. So uh, maybe, the, uh, maybe the green will speak a little bit different uh, language to them that's a little bit more important. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for the rant, but I just, man, I, I love this game. And, and it's just, this most recent update was a, a big downturn. And I'm, I'm hoping we can, uh, can kind of steer it back into the other direction. I'm trying to make any sort of impact that I can with this video. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Share with your friends. Uh, use that click to tweet, that sort of thing. Let's get this out there. And uh, hopefully Niantic will, uh, will take notes. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.